Hi, I'm Harry Robertson, CTO of Liftoff. In today's episode of Liftoff's Tech Talk series, I'm going to be talking about the importance of per user data in optimizing your application's cost per install or cost per action. Now, ad networks or demand side platforms typically have access to a broad set of inventory, represented by this big rectangle here, spanning many different applications and covering some users who have a high probability of converting to your application, represented by these green dollar signs, and a lot that don't, represented by these brown crosses. Now, typically, in order to optimize your cost per install, an ad network will leverage contextual data, so primarily the uh, application that the user is currently using. And by focusing spend on the best applications, so in this case, uh, this one, not this one, and this one, they can drive a reasonable cost per install. So in this case, $3.50 is about the best you could hope to achieve. Now here at Liftoff, we take a different approach. We combine the contextual data with per user data. We've built up data stores of user composites, which are uh, demographic and preference data per user, and app constellations which are a representative view of the kind of applications that are on a user's phone and that, they, and that they engage with. Now, because we've already got over 500 million users worth of user composites and app constellations, it's very hard to, one, collect this data, and two, leverage it in real time. But we've invested it heavily in it as a company because it's proven to be so valuable. Now, to give you an example of why that's the case, let's take just one signal from our user composites, uh, the user's favorite application category, for example. Now, this uh, characteristic allows us to slice the inventory we have access to in a different way by leveraging the user's favorite category. And that allows us to hone in on subsets of users within each application that have the highest probability of converting to your application and therefore will drive the best CPIs. So in this case, for example, this subset and this subset. And it even allows us to tap into applications that otherwise would have very poor aggregate CPI for your app, such as this one. And so in aggregate, this allows us to drive better CPIs than would otherwise be possible. So in this case, around $2.50. And because each user composite contains around 200 different signals, as our systems collect more and more data about your campaigns, we can hone in further and further, driving better and better CPIs by targeting more and more granular subgroups of users. Now, every, everything I've said so far has been about cost per install, but this actually applies even more strongly to CPA, or cost per action, or more generally, post-install optimization. And the reason for that is the post-install events, such as purchases or subscriptions within your application, are much rarer than installs. And therefore, you need much more granular insights, such as these, in order to be able to derive performance improvements. Now, that was just a lightning quick overview, but hopefully it gave you a feel for why per-user data is so effective in driving engaged user growth for your mobile application. Thanks for listening.